25 with no kids a flex or are people starting to look at you funny? Can we fucking make up? I think we're sweetest with the tension from tonight. My intentions wasn't meant to cause a fire. Oh no, may I had to get your shit on my mind. I guess the timing wasn't right, but I tried my best. Can you hear this rubber chase so we can settle down? You know I know, switch, you know I love you. I couldn't find my hydro this morning, unfortunately, so we're going with just a little, well, not a little, a big bottle of Smart Water and a little protein bar because I'm also not super hungry and also kind of in a rush. I almost was not going to go to the gym at all, but I literally haven't gone since Wednesday and it's Monday now, so... Regardless, good morning, happy Monday. You guys voted for longer vlogs, like 30 minutes or more was what the majority voted. And then also more like weekly collective vlogs. So that's what I'm gonna start dishing out. I don't know what just moved around in my back seat, but that scared me. But anyway, it is 8 a.m. right now. I'm gonna clock into work at 10 today. And then I also have a meeting with my boss later. I don't really know what time it's at because I do my best not to even like check my work calendar or anything that is work related when I'm not on the clock so I'll figure out what time my meeting is once I clock in but because I didn't to get up as early as I normally do I'm gonna have to cut my workout a little bit short but it'll be fine it'll be fun let's just see where the next couple of days take us just walked through the door but more importantly <laughs> wow i kind of lucked up today and my boss is not feeling well it feels weird to say that i lucked up when someone's not feeling good but i lucked up in the sense that like i don't have to get on camera for our one-on-one -on -one today we're just gonna do it over message we're just gonna catch up and we really like i feel like we never be talking about nothing i unfortunately need to get going on work a little bit before i can like shower and change my clothes and all that so i'm gonna just chill for a minute get caught up on work eat my breakfast and now it's looking like i'm gonna be adding a cinnamon roll to my breakfast as well my sister's been making these cinnamon rolls from scratch i don't know what's gotten into her actually I do know. I definitely do know. My sister is a fiance and she's just been going crazy in the kitchen making everything from scratch all of a sudden. Now she's a baker, but <laughs> I'm not mad at it because I get to partake in all of her treats and her goodies. Yeah. <laughs> 
I made a little yogurt bowl. This is just Greek yogurt, granola, blueberries, and honey. And then a little pineapple oxy greens. o'clock now so I can finally take a little lunch break and I'm gonna get in the shower put some decent clothes on this is like the one downside to not like getting up super early and going to the gym it kind of sets me behind schedule for the entire rest of my day like it's two o'clock and I'm still in my gym clothes whereas had I just gotten up at five o'clock this morning I was really way too tired today but had I just gotten up, I would have been able to like have enough time to come back and eat and shower and change my clothes and do everything before it was time for me to start working. Unfortunately, that's not what I did today, but it's okay. At least I did not have that meeting because I would have just, I would just had to take the call like this in my gym clothes. Like, girl, please fix it. <laughs> Good morning and happy Tuesday. I went to the gym this morning is my little gym fit for the day. A little white top and these blue leggings. But now we got a few errands to run today. I need to go return these two shorts that I got from Define. I wanted them to work so bad. I really did. I thought the colors, I thought the colors were gonna eat. I'm not gonna lie. But I just felt like, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but I wanted these colors to be like more, pastel than they are they're kind of they're like a little bit too bright for me and then the scrunch on the butt y'all is like uh, it's just way too out there it just looks too much like i'm trying to make my butt look big or something like i don't know i just wasn't vibing with the scrunch the colors were a little bit too bright and then i also have some shorts from them from a different line these are from the impact collection and these ones like the scrunch isn't as severe so i figured i'm not even gonna play around and try to see if i like it or nothing like that i'm gonna return these expensive ass shorts and get my money back <laughs>
I'm hoping that this line isn't crazy. It kind of looks like it is, but hopefully they just have a little like drop box thing that I can just put that in and not have to wait in line. When I go out to like run my errands and stuff, a lot of the stores are dead. Like there's never any people at Target in the middle of the day on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Like I just be vibing, coasting, cruising through my little days off, but my days off be going by too fast. Like, ugh. That's the theme. I feel like that's the theme of my 20s is just trying to find a good balance between work and life and like staying on a good time schedule or managing my time well. That's the word I'm looking for. It's just, mm, it'd be giving me a hard time. Like my to-do list just feels never ending. I have a million people that I feel like I need to respond to on emails. And I, that's one thing that drives me crazy. When I have a bunch of emails to respond to, I just want to hide in a hole and like not respond to anybody, but can't do that anymore. Trying to big girl through this life. Had to try and give my Uggs one last shine before it gets too freaking hot. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> my friend put me onto these Yerba Mate drinks. They were so popular when I was in college for some reason i just never took to that hype partially due to my fear of like having a caffeine addiction but my friend put me onto this brand the other day it's called your bay it's a plant-based energy drink with zero calories and zero sugar and there's 160 milligrams of caffeine super good this flavor is the mango passion fruit but they also had this black cherry pineapple one and then i think the other one is a watermelon strawberry but i got a couple of other items at sprout so i'm just gonna give y'all a full haul when i get back home but let's make this last stop i be so sick even niggas y'all contradicting i be so bold myself can you come and fuck me i feel so ordinary so when you won't round me treat me like all the right wear me out Arguments you air me out Trip about your whereabouts I can keep no profit My mom would probably disown me if I brought a fake plant home <laughs> But look at how cute so cute and tiny. I'm so excited to start decorating my own place as y'all might imagine. So make sure y'all stay tuned for these moving vlogs. I think I wanna do this type of light green and creams color scheme, some whites, like pretty much these colors right here. Even this blanket is so cute. Oh my gosh. But I'ma wait, I'ma wait, cause I know my mind is gonna change like a thousand times about what I want my place to look like. Even like this is so cute, and I have no idea what I would use it for, but so cute. And this little puff, ugh. But I know I'm gonna need everything, and it's a little bit overwhelming right now, cause I'm like, I don't even have a whisk. I don't have a broom, I don't have a rag, I don't have a couch, I don't have pillows, like I, anything you could think of that someone might need when they're moving, 
I'm gonna need that because it's a cross-country move it's not like I can just buy stuff right now unless I want to pay to ship all of it in a couple of months so <sighs> I've just been like window shopping everywhere trying to figure out what like color scheme I want to go for and all that good stuff I just know that when the time does come for me to start shopping I'm likely gonna go overboard of new drinks while I was at Sprouts. Right now, I don't know if you can tell, I'm literally like yoked up. Clearly, <laughs> my glasses are fogging. Clearly I do not drink caffeine very, I mean I do, I feel like I do drink caffeine pretty often, but maybe just not this much. This is equivalent to two cups of coffee, it's saying, and I try to have like one cup of coffee every few days. I really, I don't know why I'm so terrified of, of, of cap- Guys, this is bad. I'm stuttering. I'm just slow down. I don't know why I'm so afraid of caffeine addiction, but maybe this is why. As I was saying, my friend put me on to these. There's zero sugar, zero calorie, plant-based energy, 160 milligrams of caffeine, probably obviously more than I can handle, but very tasty. That's the mango passion fruit one. This one is watermelon strawberry. And then they also had a black cherry pineapple flavor, which could really go either way. Then I got this pomegranate lemonade hum kombucha. They don't taste like regurgitating, you know, like <laughs> they don't have that strong flavor of vinegar that I feel like most kombuchas have. I haven't tried any other flavors besides this pomegranate lemonade and it still does taste a little like vinegar. I'm not even going to hold you, but not as bad as some of the other ones. We got this peach ginger prebiotic and probiotic. And lastly, I grabbed a couple of flavors from Poppy. I got the classic cola and the root beer. I don't know why, I just always felt so turned off by the idea of like a prebiotic root beer, like a prebiotic Coke, but apparently they're good. Word of mouth is that they're good, so we're gonna try that. And then I also heard the watermelon one is really good and I haven't tried this yet either, so. That's what we got from Sprouts. I should be good on my drinks for a little bit. And then I got a pair of these pink slippers for my mom because I have a pair in brown that I leave downstairs. And every time I come downstairs, they're on her feet. My NYX brow glue, I usually get in a medium brown color. Or no, I usually get dark brown, but they only had medium brown, black, and clear. Literally every single color besides the one that I wanted. So I just got clear. Then this has been my latest freaking addiction. I know y'all have seen these and I, I don't know why. I did not believe the hype. I didn't want to believe the hype. I was like, they're just frozen fruits. Like I wasn't understanding why they're so good, but mm, they're just little like fast frozen strawberries, but they're dipped in white chocolate and then another layer of milk chocolate. I'm not kidding. I feel like I kind of just want y'all's opinion on this. If you watched my Sunday reset video, then you know that I've been planning on starting a podcast within the next couple of months. I think I'm gonna wait until I move and I have my own space to do it. But I was listening to this audio on Instagram yesterday and it just hit me. Like I've been trying to think, what am I gonna name this podcast? What is it gonna be about? Like, what am I gonna talk about and i was listening like i said to this audio that was on instagram and she was basically referring to your 20s as your panic years and i don't know if some of you guys have maybe heard that terminology already but i was like that is such a cool concept and i feel like it would be a great 
title for my podcast to call it like Panic Years Podcast and just talk about things that are super relatable to people that are in their 20s. Not being afraid of failure, not being afraid to start over, understanding your value, confidence, self-doubt, losing them to find you, going through times where you feel like you're always on the verge of tears, being afraid of aging, is self-love enough or do you need romantic love? Is being 25 with no kids a flex or are people starting to look at you funny because why don't you have a partner or kids or anything? Like, I don't know what happened in the last couple of weeks, but I have just been getting so many different ideas about what I can talk about for my podcast, what I'm gonna call it, how it's gonna be, so. Let me know if that sounds like it's your speed or if you have any ideas for like a cool title or something for the podcast or topics that you might want to hear somebody talk about that might be relatable to you if you are somewhere in your 20s. How cute are these little spring pillows? These are actually the pillows that came with this comforter set. I got it at Home Goods, but I bought it in the fall or the winter, and I just did not feel like these pillows were matching like fall or winter vibes at all. So now that it's spring, I was able to bust these cute little pillows out, and I actually kind of love them. The way I just be looking so busted in the morning and still get on camera anyway. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy this look is a disaster <laughs> but anyway good morning and happy wednesday i usually like to spend my wednesday mornings a little bit slower just resetting cleaning planning for the upcoming week and i also just came to realize that the upcoming week is also an upcoming new month it's about to be april we're about to be through Q1 of 2024. I have a little maintenance vlog in the works, in the plans for next week. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna hold off on washing my hair for a couple more days. The plan for the rest of the day is just gonna be pretty chill. I'm going to go to one of my friend's house, play chess. He's been teaching me how to play chess for like the past couple weeks. So it's been a little ritual on like one of my days off and then i think we're also gonna try this um thai food restaurant i <laughs> don't know what i'm gonna do with this dirty ass hair but <laughs> we'll see Yeah. 
nobody put that purpose in me like you do Still, nobody get that work up on me like you do Nobody get the truth about me Got some brow glue for the brows, clear mascara for the lashes, a little bit of blush. Let me zoom out and a little empty lip oil. How I connect to you, help me understand how do you speak. I still don't know what I'm doing with my hair. <laughs> the hair has to go, bro. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? I kind of just want to put on a beanie, but even the hair coming out underneath the beanie is about to look crazy. Like even this little clip is not about to eat. <laughs> I tried to put a beanie on, but it was not giving. It just wasn't matching the vibe. I don't know. My hair looks lopsided. This half up is crazy. The clip doesn't even, like the clip hairstyles don't give if your hair is not curled. But I just don't wanna put no heat on my hair right now. Like I literally am running out of options here. So I'm gonna just let this be what it is. I don't really care. I'm just wearing a little gray on gray sweatsuit with this pinkish purplish Nike jacket on top. I'm gonna throw some Crocs on. How's your eye? And have a cool day. Hey. Not gonna lie to you, that was not the best pad thai I've ever had in my life, but I had a good time at least. I always enjoy spending time with my friends and just chilling, kicking it. We did a puzzle, played some chess. For some reason, he was convinced that we would be able to finish a 750 piece puzzle in an hour and a half. And I was like, sir, this is a project that takes multiple days. <laughs> but regardless, I had a good time and I'm just learning how to balance work and life and friendships and all of these things that are happening at one time. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.